Imagine being able to create a million dollar application using only artificial intelligence and having no coding experience whatsoever. You will not write a single line of code. In addition to this, you'll be able to deploy this application live onto the internet so everyone can enjoy it in less than an hour. If that sounds like something that you're interested in, stick with me in this video because today we're going to break down one of the most popular and one of the biggest revenue generating applications out there at the moment, which is huggingface.co. We're gonna be building like an AI agent app store, pretty much like a carbon copy. And we're gonna be using a very special tool in order to clone Hugging Face so that it takes a big portion of the grunt work away and that we don't have to reiterate and rebuild this from scratch. We can copy each and every page so that we can have a good starting point. We can just go from there and we can build it out. If that sounds like something that you're interested in, stick with me in this video. Let's get into it. Okay, so we are in Copy Coder. What we're gonna do is you're gonna come to New Project. Then you're gonna select your tool. There's a range of different no-code AR builders here. So from Curse all the way through to Lovable and Bolt.new and it's optimized for those specific no-code builders. So obviously you, the one that you're building in is the one you wanna select. In our case, we're gonna use cursor, select that and we say next. Then we have to upload a page of our main page. This is the main home page of the app that we wanna clone. The application we're gonna clone is huggingface.co. Now Hugging Face is an AI app store. That's the best way you can think of it. I've done a video on this, which I'll link somewhere here that you can check it out, but it basically allows you to go and search for any sort of model, data set, or application in the AI realm just by asking it for a functionality. So for example, AI podcast. If I search that in the spaces tab, you can see it gives me all these different AI applications or models that I can use in order to build an AI podcast just by entering in what is the functionality. Or maybe image generation, right? There you go, mid journey and so forth. So we've got tons of these over here that we wanna use. Now. I wanna build this because if we go and say Hugging Face Evaluation, Hugging, va uh, hugging Face is valued at $4.5 billion. So saying this is a million dollar application is being quite modest. And we are going to literally carbon copy this application so that we can maybe build something different, maybe something like an AI agent marketplace, right? What we're going to do is we're gonna come back to the Hugging Face main page and we're gonna just take a simple screenshot. And you can do this for any application. Right, so we're gonna take that screenshot and we're gonna come back over here and then we are going to copy it into that and we are then going to wait for it to just analyze the design. What it's doing now is it's analyzing the page. So when you do this, because what it's doing is it's analyzing what's on the page. If we come back over here, you'll see we have all the other menu options in this menu ribbon, right? So what it's doing is it's picking up, okay, this is the home page. I recognize that. The AI is saying this is the home page, but there is a models page, a data sets page, a spaces page, a posts page. So what it's doing is it actually is building out all of those pages for us. So we've got the main page with a screenshot, and then we've got a category for models, for data sets, for spaces, for posts, all the way through to pricing, right? So all of these up here. So if you are doing a, a clone, you can clone just one page, that's fine. But I would keep in mind, you know, for whatever application you wanna maybe clone, if say it's this one, you wanna basically have all the different menu options in a ribbon. So you wanna be able to see multiple different categories because those are the other pages you wanna to link to. So that's our main page, which has something here. What we can then do is we can use AI for all the other pages. So we can say, hey, take this as inspiration and build out similar pages for all of these others. So it will say, okay, if this is, I recognize this is an AI community building the future, this is hugging face, okay. The data sets page will probably have data sets and then it will think for itself of how you want it to look. In our case, we can actually go here, go to models and we can then just take those screenshots ourselves. We can literally go and take a screenshot of the models page, come over there, we can drag and drop that. We can go to data sets, let's take a screenshot of that, just like that and Okay, then we can go to spaces. Spaces is a favorite because these are the different AI applications. So we definitely want to copy how this looks. Copy that across. Uh, check out posts. Posts is, okay, like a post forum. That's pretty cool. So we can literally go ahead and copy that in there. And then maybe the others, we're not really that focused on. So like docs, enterprise, ah, it's just enterprise hub, pricing, different pricing like that. Okay, 
So for the others, when we go over here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say use AR for the others. And you can do this for all of the pages if you want. So you can add screenshots on like, okay, I like that page, I like that page, I like that page, and the rest of them just use inspiration from what I've given you already. So we're gonna use AR for the rest, which will generate uh, pages out of inspiration of the screenshots that we've already added. And we are then gonna hit the generate page button. So what it's gonna do now is it's gonna generate each of these pages for us and generate the prompts that we're gonna then import into Cursor to build out, out our AI application um, using Cursor. So I'm gonna to jump to the end and then we'll go from there. So these are just loading still. One thing I like about Copy Coder is you can add screenshots into, you know, ChatGPT or Claude, and you can ask for a prompt to build out that page. That's fine. You can even add the image into Cursor itself or into Lovable or Bolt.new or any of your AI no code builders. But what I like about Copy Coder is it's all in one application and it gives you all the information in one go. And I'll explain why and I'll show you now. So project is ready and we've got our page analysis. So we have the prompts. So you can look at the different prompts for each of our pages, right? So you can literally read through all of them if you want to and you go through each one. So that's our page analysis. Now, this is the beauty. Bringing this into Cursor is so easy. All it is, is copying just this project set up via CLI command. That's it. That's all we're copying. So we're going to copy this, literally just tap that button, and we're going to head over to Cursor, and we're going to start importing the project. Okay, so we're in Cursor now, and we've created a new project, Hugging Face Clone. What you're going to do is open up Terminal, and then you're going to come through to your copy coder you're going to copy that prompt uh, the project setup you're going to come back over here and you literally are just going to paste it in and hit enter and let it just run that prompt through and what it's doing now is it's literally building out all the files that we need all the parameters all the base code and then we'll go from there and we'll start setting up all the the files so all of our files have been imported. You can see all the different pages. And then we have a setup file, a normal setup file, and then a setup authentication file, which is to set up our authentication, sign up and login pretty much. So what you want to do is you want to come to your right sidebar. You want to navigate to agent rather than normal and make sure this is a little bit of a trick. Make sure you're on Claude 3.5 Sonnet. Everyone's going to 3.7 Sonnet, which is an amazing model, but from a copy coder perspective, in collaboration with Cursor, Claw 3.5 Sonnet still giving the best results. So that's a little bit of a trick there. Make sure you're on Agents, make sure you're on 3.5 Sonnets. And then what we want to do is we actually want to run the .setup file. So you just want to say run .setup, literally submit that and let that run. And it's going to start setting up all of our base code and our files. Again, with Cursor, you're going to have to run some commands and approve some commands. You can set your Cursor environment to YOLO mode, which is basically that it will approve itself. But if not, then just keep an eye out for that. You'll have to literally just approve some of these as, as it goes through and as it starts building out your code base. So it has set up the next.js project for us. And what we're going to do now is we want to run our first page. Right, so we're going to say run, we're going to say at, and then this is our main page, right? So we're going to say one dot uh, one dash page, main page. And once th you've done that, you're then going to submit that and it's going to run that first main page for us. So it's that you're going to install all the specific requirements we need and literally start building the code. Again, you'll have to run some commands just to install some, you know, like in this car, in this case, Lucite React, um, but you know, as you go through this, it's more of you just assessing and approving rather than writing any code yourself. So I'm going to jump to the uh, end of this and we'll then move on to our next step. So now that our main page is done, we are going to go back to our terminal and we're actually just going to go back to our root folder. So you're going to go CD root, go back to our root folder, and then we are just going to run it in our local host. So we're just going to say npm run dev and that should run us perfectly there so our local network is localhost command let's click that that's loading it up over here so let's bring that across and let's in our browser and look at that it's insane interesting that it's put uh, like a sidebar here which we didn't really have before but uh it's something we can work on we've got the different tasks libraries data sets You've got Hugging Face over here. Obviously, it's used a little bit of a different emoji, which is pretty cool. It's uh, used its own intuition there. And then we've got all of our different menu items. Uh, we've got our search bar, login, sign up, and then some base stock images here, but with 
yeah, uh, I don't think we have a GPT two, but you know, Dolly, Mini, and Whisper, and you know, a couple of made up things, featured models. But this is our starting point, and I think it's pretty pretty rock solid. So that being said, let's dive back into Cursor and let's carry on building. So it's really really simple. What you want to do is we want to create our next page, which was the models page. So, you know, this one over here. So we're literally going to come over here and we're going to say run at two dash models dot MD. And you're just going to submit that and you're going to go through the same process and you're just going to build out each and every page. Right, we're going to run through this and we can have a look at our models page. Okay, so our models page is done. We're going to come back to Hugging Face. Uh, I've got two up here now, so let's just look for one. Localhost, let's just refresh that. And let's go to our models page. And there you go. You can see our different models. Pretty cool. We've got text, image, audio. We've got the different filters. We've got our drop down here. So most popular, most recent, most downloaded, most likes. If we go to the others, data sets, nothing, spaces, nothing. It's all kind of 404s because we want to carry on building those. But as you go, you can build out all of these. And this just allows you to have such a better starting point than, you know, build me an AI agent marketplace. I mean, if you've used Lovable and Bolt.new or the Cursor, you get the starting point, it doesn't look great. Uh, it's be very limited functionality. So something like this allows you to have all those features already up and running, good to go from the start. One of the pages I really like is the Spaces page. So I want to come and run that one quickly just so that we can have a look at how close it gets to creating that. That is the main like AI marketplace page. So I do want to run spaces and then just go, let's have a look at what it looks like at the end and then we can iterate. So just accepting some of these components. One thing I'll definitely have to say is you're using something like Copy Coder doesn't lead to a lot of errors, at least that what I've found. You know, when you're running all this code, it's more accepting and approving and running different pieces or installing dependencies. But I haven't, so far, like I haven't run into one error where it's like, oh, there's an error and this needs to be fixed. I may have just jinxed myself, but hopefully not. That's one thing I do like. The way Copy Coder outlines its prompts is uh, so that you can just let you import it and you can kind of sit there and you can run page by page and just start building your application. So that is done. We are going to bring up our page quickly and let's just reload our local host and then let's go to spaces and boom, there we go. The, the colors are on point. It's got like obviously some stock images and we have to obviously work on the different categories. But you know, when you hit a category or click a category, it changes to this like orange, which is in line, I guess, with the hugging face branding. It just looks like a complete application. And obviously there's a lot of work to do. There's a lot of functionality you want to implement and you want to go page by page here, but you can add this, you can do this via copy coder and you can build these pages and then just literally run them one by one and build the application. And you literally will do a carbon copy of something like Hugging Face in, in such a short amount of time. Since this video started, we've been able to build out this whole application here yeah, with all these pages, with all these different components. Um, and then obviously we would want to go further and actually be able to use them and click on them and add, allow people to maybe add their AI agents to sell to other people and create that market, marketplace, you know? So, but off the bat, off just an iteration, really, really awesome. So you can just go from there and you can build it out. And yeah, you can carry on iterating and carry on building any application that you want by adding more pages to the menu bar and, you know, obviously building in the functionality that you want. And then obviously taking that clone and directing it down the path that you want to achieve and building it into an application that you want. Copy Coder makes it really simple in order to do this. This is version 2.0 of Copy Coder that allows you to do multiple pages, which will be coming out in the future and quite shortly. But I will pop a link below to Copy Coder 1.0 which allows you to do singular pages for now. As soon as 2.0 is live and out, I will let everybody know. Also for, follow me on my socials, follow my newsletter because I'll definitely do a little piece on that. So they go straight into your inbox and we'll update you as soon as this is updated. But the ability to build out and clone any application that you want is a massive possibility now with no code AI builders and tools like copy coder other than that i will see you guys on the next video please do like and subscribe it does amazing things for the channel and over 95 percent of the people that watch this channel are not subscribed so if you got some benefit out of this i 
ask you one favor, please like and subscribe. It does amazing things for the channel and allows me to continue bringing out better and better content for you. Other than that, I will see you guys on the next video. Cheers.